I'm Jason Fishbach. I work for the University of Wisconsin Madison Division of Extension as the Emerging Crops Outreach Specialist for the entire state. And a big part of my work is uh, trying to develop and support the newly forming Midwest hazelnut industry. Um, let's see, we are standing in Northland College's Hewlings Rice Food Center where we have a, a start of a hazelnut processing facility which is part of our comprehensive program to support the industry as it develops from improved plant material all the way up to processing and market access. So right now we are entering what I call hazelnuts 2.0. This is the phase where um, we are starting to scale up what we think is viable commercial production. So as a grower, now is the time to get engaged, to start to pay attention to what's happening, to get involved with grower groups and to get access to the plant material. So if we look back, what I call hazelnuts 1.0, this was an effort by early adopter growers led by pioneering plant breeders like uh, Mark Shepard and Phil Rudder who put out tons of great plant material, all seedling based, and on average, the production really wasn't good enough to support commercial production. But within those plantings were some really, really nice genotypes or cultivars, if you will. So our job the last 15 years or so was to work with those growers, find their best plants, evaluate them at multiple locations to verify that indeed they are good enough to support commercial production. And now we're in the, I'd say, middle stages of the propagation efforts to get copies of those and to get them out uh, to growers. Um, so that's an exciting time. It's going to take a while because it's, it's difficult to propagate hazelnuts, but slowly but surely our nursery partners are starting to scale up production. Hello, I'm Sam Miller from uh, Hauser Superior View Farm in Bayfield, Wisconsin. And I have been helping with this hazelnut project for a little bit now. So there's grafting, there's um, stem cutting, there is tissue culture. We don't do the tissue culture here, but I think that would be something that would definitely be something we could look into in the future. And mound layering, which is probably the most promising thing that we're gonna end up doing for the majority of all the hybrids we're working on right now. So we'll, we'll uh, grow a mother plant like this and then layer them with sawdust and hopefully they'll send up little shoots that we'll be able to hack off and those should each have a little root and we'll plant them in soil and within the remainder of the year we'll be able to grow a nice viable plant for uh, hopefully to supply all the farmers. This is actually grafted and it actually turns into a nice viable plant that we'll be planting and hopefully being able to propagate more either cuttings or grafts from. So with any new crop, the important thing is to go in with eyes wide open and understand all the risks. Uh, you know, what's known about hazelnut production, what's unknown about it, what do the markets look like, how do I access those markets before you start planting. And then when you do, there is a learning curve with hazelnuts. They're not the easiest plant to establish because they're adapted to stress and the response typically is just to go dormant if they're under stress. So if they don't get watered, if there's too much weed pressure, deer browse, of course. So we, we recommend 100 plants or so to start out because that kind of forces you to do things a little bit at scale versus like two or three in the backyard. Doesn't really give you a sense of what it actually takes. But get a row of 100 plants in the ground it doesn't really matter what genetics starting out, just to get some experience growing hazelnuts. And then once you feel comfortable with your system that you think you can plant these and establish them, the next step is to really dig into the enterprise budgets that we've developed, look at the plant material that's available from our nursery partners, and then think about scale. You know, how big do you want to be with your production? Are you going to hand harvest? Are you going to machine harvest? Who are you going to sell to? And most importantly, who else can you work together with? Hazelnuts are relatively high capital cost. Um, they're expensive to establish because the plant material is not cheap. But also if you're doing mechanical harvesting or dehusking processing, that takes equipment, machinery. So if you can pool your resources or pool volumes of nut production with your neighbors, you're far more likely to be successful at this crop uh, just because of the high upfront costs. Um, of course, start with the university uh, extension. Our MidwestHazelnuts.org is a super popular website. All of our publications, our Hazelnuts 101 fact sheet series, videos, some podcast episodes, will give you some good background information, sort of to get you started at a good spot. 
Then um, the Savannah Institute is a great nonprofit partner that does a lot of technical service um, work with growers. So they'll come out to your property, walk it, figure out you know contours, how best to deploy hazelnuts if you do it. And then they can help you access cost share programs because there's a fair amount of public dollars right now available for helping you establish hazelnut plantings. Um, and then as you get into production, the American Hazelnut Company is a grower owned um, processing and marketing company that will buy hazelnuts from you. You join the company as a grower and then you, as a company you're pooling all your, your, your nuts, you bring them up here to get processed if you want and then they are turning those into high value products and eventually they'll be able to return the value from they get from the marketplace back to the growers. So it's a really great opportunity to own part of that value chain without having to do everything by yourself. So SARE has been so helpful for the Hazelnut Project in making targeted investments along the way to develop this industry. Because remember, this is a comprehensive program of new crop development, markets, production, nursery production, field production, all of it. And SARE is particularly well uh, positioned because they get it. They understand agriculture is not just about how to grow this or grow that. Like it's the whole system and how to do it in a way that achieves the multiple objectives that we've all wanted from the start for hazelnuts is to be a multi-purpose crop of improved ecosystem services, holding soil, um, filtering water, and providing high value crops to growers. So it's just a well aligned organization and, and, um, and program. Um, and it's been such a, you know, helpful process to, to for these grants over the years and the different programs, SARE Farmer Rancher, SARE Partnership, SARE Research and Education, uh, all three have, have been part of our project over the years. So we couldn't have been where we are without them.